What is up everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel or if it is your first time here, welcome. So today we're going to be doing a Fashion Nova bikini and one piece swimsuit haul. I'm really excited because I shop on Fashion Nova all the time but I have never tried their swimsuits so they actually reached out to me and asked if they could send me some of their swimwear to review and I was so thrilled because I just, I love Fashion Nova, I've talked about it in videos before and now I get to try their swimwear and honestly, I'm like pretty impressed with it, I'm not gonna lie. So before we get started, I will just let you know that everything that I mention in this video will be linked in the description box down below along with all of my personal links and my measurements for reference but I ordered a size small in every single swimsuit so everything I try on in this video is a size small. So with that being said, let's hop into it. So the first bikini is called the Libra bikini and I got it in this olive color. I'm obsessed with this olive color right now. Like I'm wearing olive colored shorts. I just, I don't know why I'm like super into this color. So this top is actually really, really supportive. It's structured and it has underwire. It's a halter top. It has built-in padding. The padding is not removable, but I guess you could probably cut like a little slit and remove it if you wanted to. But yeah, the top is very, very supportive. And then the bottoms are high rise. They are definitely meant to be a little bit more full coverage, but you can pull them up to show off your bum a little bit more if you want to. Why did I call it a bum? I literally never call your butt a bum, but whatever. I really like the lace up sides and I love the fact that it's high rise. I feel like high rise is just super, super flattering and like if you're ever feeling like bloated or I don't know, I just, I love high rise. It's just very comfortable and like I never feel self-conscious in it because I don't feel like anything's like popping out anywhere and like I just feel very covered up and like good. So this is a really good bikini. Like I would definitely wear something like this like around family or like if I was going somewhere where there was going to be a lot of kids like I would feel very comfortable wearing this because it's not too showy. Up next I got the Cheyenne bikini in this purple color. It's honestly it's like this dusty purple mauve kind of color. I think this color is really really pretty too. And then these are the bottoms. So the top does not have padding, but it does have little slots that you could put a little triangle pad from like another bathing suit in if you wanted to. The top is a little bit confusing to get on because it ties as a halter and then it also ties in the front. But once you figure it out and put it on, like this is so, so flattering and so cute. I struggle a lot of times because I have a very small rib cage. So if it's a clasp back, or if it's just like a bikini where it's set and you can't adjust anything about the band, a lot of times it'll be too big for me. But this is so, so nice because you can adjust it and like tie it in the front to be as loose or as tight as you want it. And I just think it is absolutely adorable. Honestly, this is probably my favorite bathing suit from the entire haul. The bottoms, I must say, are a little bit tight. A lot of times in brands, I am a size medium in bottoms but these are actually, they're okay. I probably would have preferred a medium, but they still like, they're not like digging in or like too tight that I'm like uncomfortable. I think you could wear them low rise, but I prefer to wear them high rise. I, again, I just feel like that's a more flattering look on me. So yeah, this bathing suit, oh my gosh, I am in love with it. Up next, we have the sink or swim swimsuit in black. This swimsuit is pretty sexy, you guys. <laughs> so I am really excited because I'm going to Vegas this next weekend and I feel like this is the perfect swimsuit to wear in Vegas because it has these strappy sides, it's very, very low cut, and then it's open back. So I think this is just like, oh my gosh, it's so cute, so perfect for a place like Vegas. So it does have pads and honestly the pads kind of sit in a weird spot but you can raise them up a little bit higher, a little lower. They are removable as well so I might end up taking the padding out. It's a halter top. The bottoms are definitely meant to be um, like medium coverage but of course I will probably end up pulling it up a little bit as you can see and as I've said I like to wear things a little bit higher, show off the booty a little bit more. You work for it, you want to show it off, especially in a place like Vegas, oh my goodness. So this suit I am absolutely stoked on. So up next is the Virgo Monokini in Royal. So this is super, super cute in theory and I wish it was just a little bit different and then I would love it, but I do love the lace up detail in the front. 
I love the way that it ties up in the back as well but I just am not a fan of the bottoms. The bottoms are definitely meant to be low rise, but when you pull them up, it kind of makes the suit look a little bit funky and it's just like not super flattering in the, in the butt when you pull it up. So I'm not a huge fan of the way that it looks, but it's okay. So it's like almost where I want it to be, but it's just not quite there. But overall, I still really do like this suit. I love the royal blue color. I think that's so, so pretty. And I might end up wearing this, I might not. But yeah, on the right track, almost had it with this one. Up next, we have the On The Coast Monokini in khaki. I love this color. It's this like very shimmery champagne color. In my um, first bikini haul that I released this year, I have a Billabong bikini that's almost in the same color. And I just think it's so pretty and I don't know. The color is very just like classy. I don't know how to explain what I feel about this color, guys, but I really, really like this color. It has pads in it that are removable. I do like the way the top of it looks and actually I am shocked that um, the clasp actually kind of works for my rib cage. Like I said, a lot of times clasp backs or non-adjustable bikinis, it's really hard for it to fit my rib cage. But surprisingly, this clasp actually wasn't too loose. However, I think the clasp is really annoying to put on. Like it literally took me five minutes to actually clasp it correctly. I don't know if that's just me because I'm not used to using clasps, but it was very annoying for me. So that is something to be conscious of if you are anything like me. But I do like the the whole setup of this bikini overall. I like the back of it. It's not my absolute favorite from this whole haul, but I will definitely end up wearing this at some point. Up next, we have this You're Not Down swimsuit in black. In the first bikini haul that I did this year, there was a Topshop bikini that had lace-up sides like this, and I absolutely love the lace-up detail. I don't know, I'm just like really into the lace-up stuff right now. I think it's so cool and cute and different. So I love the lace-up sides on this. Again, it has, similar to the Topshop bikini that I talked about in that haul as well, it has an open low cut back, which I really, really like. I don't know how I feel about the top of this. Like it kind of, it brings your boobs together, but it also like flattens them out a little bit. So it's, it's a little bit strange to be completely honest. It does have padding on the inside, but the padding like fell way too low and I tried to like push it up and it just didn't work very well. I don't know, maybe this suit is just made for someone shorter than I am. I'm 5'7", and I just felt like it was made for someone a little bit shorter than me, but I might end up like trying to cut out the padding or something. We'll see what happens. The suit is definitely wearable as a medium coverage in the back or minimal coverage. I would wear it minimal coverage, but overall, I do really like this suit. Up next is this Wave Into Deep swimsuit in khaki. So this is the same exact color as that other swimsuit that I talked about, that like shimmery champagne-like color that I love. Had to get two in that color. This one has removable pads on the inside, just like the other one. I really like this one. Even though it has a clasp back again, which I'm not a huge fan of the clasp back, overall I do really think it's cute. So this one again is definitely not meant to be worn like super hiked up on your hips. Like I like to wear my bathing suits. So when I, when I hiked it up on my hips, it definitely felt a little bit tight in the crotch area and a little bit funky in the back. But overall, I still would definitely wear this suit and I do like it as well. Up next is this Marvelous swimsuit in black and white. So I wanted to like this swimsuit. I thought it looked so cute online and I was really, really excited about it because I feel like marble, like that like kind of cracked marble is so cute. Like my phone case has cracked marble on it. I was so excited about this, but it just kind of missed the mark. Like it looks good in the front, but the back, it just like doesn't come in. It kind of like poofs out and like sits out like you're wearing, I don't even know, like a diaper or something. So if I wear it like medium coverage, like it's supposed to be, it poofs out a lot. And then if I pull it up to be minimal coverage, like it, it literally rides up my butt like a straight up thong, which is not very comfortable. And it still poofs out even when I do that. So the back of it just like, it didn't work out. What I do like about it is it has adjustable straps, which is really nice. It doesn't have padding, but since it has like a pattern on it, I wouldn't worry about any like nips or anything showing through there, but Overall, I wanted to like this suit, but it's just like, nah, it didn't really work out very well. It would maybe be cute for like pictures or something from the front, but not the back. Up next, we have the Surf and Safari swimsuit in kale and black. And <laughs> my one thing with this one is it's really confusing to put on. Like, 
as you can see, like it, it comes like this and you're kind of like, what the heck? So I had to put the bottoms on first and then kind of like, like put it like I saw the picture and then like flip it up over my head. It's really hard to explain, but it's really confusing to put on. But once you get it on, it's really, really cute. This one actually though, it's a little bit big on me, which is kind of weird because all of the other ones fit. I probably would have needed an extra small in this, but it still does work pretty well. I love the crisscross detail. I've seen suits like this before and I've actually ordered one off Amazon before and it was just like, not what I thought it was gonna be when I got it. So I'm excited that this one actually is quite cute. I just wish it was a little bit smaller, but overall I love that green color that they call kale. <laughs> it does not have any padding, but honestly you wouldn't really need it in this. But overall this one I really, really like. This is one of my favorites from the entire haul as well. Last but not least, I have the Sun Goes Down swimsuit in black. And this one was really freaking cute also. Oh my gosh, I really, really like this one. It covers up more skin, but it's still like sexy at the same time because it has the lace ups, which I've already talked about. I love those lace up details, you guys. But honestly, the lace up details like in, and the kind of structure of this suit, I feel very, very supported in it. I like how it's crisscrossed at the top in the back and then it's low cut, so it like shows off your back. I've never had a suit that's cut this way before. It does not have padding, but again, it's black. You don't really need padding in something like this. But yeah, this is one of my favorites as well from the haul, and this is the last one. So that's it. I didn't really know what to expect from Fashion Nova bikinis, but again, I've ordered from Fashion Nova a million times, and I almost always love everything that I get from the site. So I'm not surprised that I really like the bikinis as well. I'm not getting paid to make this video, by the way. Like, this is all actually my genuine opinions on everything. One thing I will let you know if you are shopping on Fashion Nova is there are always sales going on. Like, go to the homepage and more than likely there's gonna be a sale, whether it's like, we hit this many Instagram followers or like Memorial Day weekend sale or whatever. There's always a sale going on. And usually it can be up to like 30% off. If it's not 30% off, literally just Google Fashion Nova discount code and there's always discount codes online. So I would always recommend using a discount code. Another thing I will let you know with their swimsuits, they are final sale. If you get the swimsuit, make sure you want it. Otherwise you can like give it to a friend or something. But yeah, so that is it you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I hope you have a fabulous day.